Okay guys, so I'm gonna show those of you that don't know how to find the Andromeda Galaxy, which is the uh, closest, I guess, spiral galaxy to our galaxy called, of course, the Milky Way Galaxy. It's about uh, 2.5 million light years away. So just so you guys know, what that means is when you're looking at that galaxy in your telescope, what that means is you're not looking how Andromeda is right now. You are looking at Andromeda Galaxy as it was two, like 2.5 million years ago. So two and a half million years ago. Or if someone is in that galaxy on a planet with a telescope looking at us, and if you could see like to Earth, let's say, they would be looking at Earth before there was even humans, uh, probably even cavemen. I don't think cavemen were around 2.5 million years ago. So they would be looking at that time in uh, that time and not right now with us looking back at them. So that's how far away our closest galaxy is to us. Now remember too, now we're talking about deep sky objects. So um, you really need to be in dark skies for that type of stuff. But I am going to show you guys in this video that you can see deep sky objects. Um, in the city, I did a video called what size do you need if you're in a big city? So I talk about eight as the minimum, uh, 10 to 12 inches is more recommended. Okay, so I'm gonna show you in this book, Night Watch, which is one of the best books that you can get uh, for a starting out, even if you're in the intermediate and advanced, uh, has lots of good information here. But when you open up, it has 20 maps, but first thing, if you want to find the Andromeda Galaxy, is try to find the square, the great square of Pegasus. And this constellation actually continues. So from this square, and it continues over there, there is another part that jets out here to Andromeda, right there, and it goes like this. So if you can see that line, it's above these two, it's, it's above. So what you do is star hopping. You start going from here, there, and then you'll see Andromeda. Now from really dark skies, uh, you can maybe see as a little faint glow. The second way is find Cassiopeia, which obviously looks like a W. Um, here it's a little bit better. So you have Perseus constellation here. Uh, Cassiopeia. So if you look at the the point of the uh, this triangle part here, it actually points down to Andromeda, which is also um, over here. And then the great square starts over here. So that's another way. Either use the pointer of Cassiopeia to go down or find the square, then continue along that line, if you can see that, and then you should be able to see this, but in a dark uh, zone. This star here, March, is a, a magnitude two, so you should be able to see it. Then 3.9 is gonna be tough from the city, 4.5. But you should see this uh, constellation here. This star here is 2.1 magnitude, so you should see it from a city, two and 2.1. So you will see that. And then you just maybe put a finder scope um, about four, four or five degrees north, and then there you go. That's how you find Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, what do you guys think? Can I capture the Andromeda Galaxy, even though it's gonna be very, very dim in the 12 inch mid light bridge? And I'm just gonna use the, uh, the iPhone only to a 32 millimeter eyepiece, and we're gonna see if we can see it. Now, obviously, looking at galaxies in the white zone city is, most people would say, can't be done. But let's see if I can get something out of the cell phone, and we'll see. Well, I can see it in the eyepiece. I'm just not 100% sure I can put it on the cell phone. And remember, I, I can do up to a 30-second exposure, but with no tracking is not gonna work. I am cold. 
Uh, I'm just out there with a sweater. And sometimes when you wear gloves, um, it's hard to hold everything. So I am able to capture... Um, I got three pictures of Andromeda Galaxy from a white zone and with lots of street lights hitting my face. And as you can see, Joey out there, he was actually opening the curtain, so more light is going out there. But I did capture it. I can visually see it. It's nothing spectacular, but it can be done when you go certain size. Of course, going to a dark zone with a 12 inch will blow your mind, but it can be done. Hopefully, these pictures are somewhat half ish de decent or whatever but and anyway, i'm gonna warm up and uh there we go like comment subscribe uh why not you why not me Okay, also this video, I had everything that was hindering me. I mean, the 12 inch is a very good size, very big size, but I'm in a white zone, which is the worst. Um, so deep sky objects, especially galaxies, are extremely difficult. Um, I have the street lights blaring at me. Now I did build a blocker uh, to uh, block those out, but it's not 100% finished. It's like 95% finished and I didn't use it anyway. Plus, as you saw, my bird, Joey, Parrot, he opened up the, the curtains and even letting more light. But even with all that stuff hindering me, you could see, I still can see Andromeda Galaxy visually. Plus, I was able to capture on the cell phone, which is not even a real dedicated type of camera anyway.